how to become a facilitator, how to lead the program, how to earn some exclusive cool goodies, how to help participants and how to just get a chance to meet the Googlers who are working in the Arcade team. You'll be getting a chance to interact with them, talk with them and have a conversation with them. So here we'll talk about how to become a facilitator for the upcoming cohort that is the 2026 step by step. But before we start, make sure to subscribe the channel and do like the video. Coming to the topic directly, first of all, I know you have some questions. So let me just answer it. That who can become a Google Cloud Arcade facilitator? See, anyone can become who is at least 18 years of age. Second important thing. While filling the form, I'll tell you, do not worry. You must be 18 plus of age and if you're under 18, for example, you are having 17 years of age or maybe 15 years of age, then you can't become a facilitator. But you can participate as a normal arcade player. There is no restriction over there. So for becoming a facilitator, you need a government ID. Second important thing, you need at least 100 students to be enrolled under you who will be guiding and just completing the challenges as per as per your rule and under your guidance, they'll be completing badges and you'll be getting some cool rewards. Now coming to the topic directly, how to fill the form. Let me just open it. This is our interest form. Now the form itself shows, it's a kind of nomination form and interest form. Like you are raising your interest towards this program that I want to lead this program. Now this form link I have shared in the description box. You can just check it out. Now here, coming to the topic directly, first of all here, you have to fill a email. Now, most of you guys are asking which email you have to mention. You can mention the same email with which you have created a Cloud Skills Boost account. So first of all, if you don't have a Cloud Skills Boost account, you can simply click on create account. And here, what you need to do, here you have to simply create account with Google. You have to select. It will auto fetch your details from the Gmail itself, which you can change later. There is no issue. Or you can use the traditional method of the name, email, whatever date of birth N remember date of birth must be 18 plus otherwise your account will be not created now as i already have account so i'm just signing in one more important thing for becoming a facilitator you can use your old account also that it is of 2025 also 2024 also even 2020 also you can use the same account now first of all you have to click on your profile icon and go to the settings option now here if you want to update the name you can update the name and just come bottom and update the settings now first thing you'll find this email over here you have to copy the email and just paste over here make sure there is no extra space or dot just type yes select yes over here okay and one more important thing, if you want to watch the same video, like if you are not understanding English, I have already covered this topic, how to become a facilitator in English. Okay, you can watch this video too. I have covered everything in detail. That too in Hindi. Now coming to the form directly. Now here you have to mention a full name. What full name? What is printed on your government ID? Will they be asking government ID? Yes, they'll be asking. Like you have to provide the same name, which is printed on your government ID, including Aadhaar card, driving license, voter ID, ration card, etc. Whatever card you are using that is owned by an uh, established and shared by the government, you have to share that name only. Do not use any random name like carom player, arcade player, etc. Okay, now again, you have to provide the same email address which we provided earlier in the first section. Now here you have to mention your name of institution. Like here institution means whether you are working as a developer, as a student or as a means a school student, you have to mention that your school or college name in simple method in simple work. Okay, and organization here means if you are working for any company, you can mention it over here. Now here you have to select whether you are a student, working developer or other. You have to select student only. Okay. As you are a student, you have to select student. If you are a working developer, you can just select working developer. Country, select India. Okay. Send country, you have to select India. See, this facilitator program, uh, which form I am saying is sharing is of Indian participants only. If you are from different country, you need to contact their leads. They will be providing you how to become a facilitator. Okay. Now here we have to provide our LinkedIn profile URL. If you don't have a LinkedIn, simply create an account. It's very easy. Just like we create Facebook, Instagram account. If you still have any query, you can let me know. I'll make a detailed video for creation of LinkedIn also. But I don't think it will be required. Here you have to share the URL. So how will find it? Let me just show you. So this is a sample LinkedIn profile created for this issue. Just come over here, go to profile and here you'll find the url okay so just copy this url okay copy this url directly come over here and simply paste it over here okay once you have pasted then 
it's asking for a YouTube channel. Do you have a YouTube channel? Now, most of you might think I don't have a YouTube channel. That means I won't be selected. No, the answer is no. Most of the facilitators are without YouTube channel. So here you can just type in in capital letter n slash a. There is no requirement of a YouTube channel. You can just use my resources to help your participants. There is not a single issue. Now, Google Cloud community link. Uh, as of now, they have just transited to discuss Google Dev. So what you need to do, I've shared this link also. You have to come to this website. Okay. From here, you can see we have to just, if you are new, you need to create with a new account. You have to click on the sign up and just sign in with Google and you, it will be auto fetch with Google account only. You cannot use any other email over here. So just sign in with Google as I already have account. I'm just signing in. So it will ask, just click on continue and allow all the permissions over here, right? Now, once you have created account, you have to go to my post section. And here you'll find this thing. Okay. So from here, just copy this URL and please watch till the end. You have to just paste it over here and remove this activity and slash part. Okay. Carefully. Now you can see our profile is now ready. You have to just enter this profile only. Now you have to type yes, means select yes. Now here it's asking for your skills boost profile. I hope you understood. We have to enable the public profile. See, by default, if you have created account recently, then by default here, no URL will really be shown over here. In that case, you have to just click on this button. Okay, click on this checkbox, not button and update settings. After that, a profile will be URL. This URL will be shown over here. Now right click over here and copy it and just paste it over here, right? Make sure you are pasting it correctly. Okay. One more important thing. Most of the guys were asking that I am having already some badges in that account. Can I share my old account public profile and can I participate? Means I can I fill this interest form with my older account? So the answer is yes, there is no issue because facilitators have to just complete only one badge that is unique. Just like arcade game, they don't have to complete skill badges, laughter courses and arcade games. Okay. So in that case, you can use the old account also or you can use your new account account it's totally up to you now here just click on this uh, five five and here they are asking why do you think you are the right person to become a facilitator so they are asking why do you think what's special in you that we should hire you as a facilitator for the upcoming cohort so here you have to explain your rules if you are if you have ever led any technical programs or if you have held any hackathons in your college, how you help the participants to complete the challenges. You can mention this also, like how you know about cloud computing. So you have participated in previous seasons also and on legend tire, whatever tire you have learned, whatever skills you have learned, you have to mention in your own words. You can take help from the AI to generate the idea, but do not copy paste because they can easily detect AI. Okay. Now, second thing also, it's same. Like if you have ever led any program, even if you are from C, there is no limitation if you are from science stream, art stream or any stream. They only need you must be 18 plus to be part of it. Okay. That does not mean if you are 65 years of age or 90 years of age, you cannot become a facilitator. Anyone who is 18 plus can part and become a facilitator as a facilitator. This is as a facilitator for a student. There is different rule for that. I posted a video yesterday and today also in Hindi and English both. Okay. In Hindi English, I have covered both the videos. You can watch it. I'll share the link in the description. Also, I will just let me cover the next thing. So you have to just tell if you have led any programs uh, in your colleges or any uh, societies over here. Now, after that, this part is optional. You can leave it also. Or if you want to tell about yourself, you can just mention it. After that, you have to just click on I agree and all the things are done. One more important thing. This is the official form. Many people will circulate fake forms also, uh, just making a copy of this form. You don't have to fill that form. How it is a official form, you can clearly see. In normal form, it will show that this form was not created by Google, etc. Here you can see this form is created inside google.com. So this is the official form. So always fill the official form. Whatever details we share in the channel are always official and uh, correct. Okay. So like this, you have to fill the form. Now, after you fill the form, what will happen? Let me explain you. So after you fill the form, what will happen? They will just uh, generate all the response. See, 
uh, I think this form will op be open for at least one to two months. So once the form closes, they'll filter all the response and generate the genuine user. See, selection chance is more for the people who fill early. So start early after this video is released. And here, what will happen once you fill the form? After that, they'll do the selection process. Okay. And once you are selected, you'll getting a shortlisted email. You can see this is our shortlisted email. It's a previous cohort and just sharing for the sample example. So you'll be getting this email over there in your mailbox. It will generally come around a one or 1.5 month before the arcade facilitator program starts. So genuinely we are getting information that it may start from May or maybe April mid. Okay, April mid or uh, maybe from April to May anytime it may start. So you can expect the same by update by April also or maybe by March also. So you'll be getting this email which will contain that you have been shortlisted. That does not mean you are selected. You are only shortlisted. Now here a Google form will be released. Do not worry. Whenever all the things will be available, I'll make a detailed video also. So, and if you want to see, so this is the previous year playlist. Okay, so this is how the email will be sent to you. It will contain all the details. Okay, so it will contain all the details. And here you have to fill all the details over here, including your age and government ID. Okay, how to fill the form, how to create all the things I've covered. I'll do one thing. I'll share the previous year playlist also so that it will help you to understand. Now coming to the guidebook directly, once you fill the shortlisting form, here a Google form will be released. Here you have to share our details of you and your co-facilitator. Now co-facilitator, what is this new term? So Google has two options. See, you will be nominated as a facilitator. You are applying for becoming a facilitator. Now you won't be available 24 into 7 for helping the students. So they are two people. One is facilitator and second is co-facilitator. So does it mean that we have to split the swags whichever we will be getting? No. Everyone will be getting, each one will be getting each set of swags. Means both will get total one, one, two sets of swags will be given and one to each. Okay. You have to just work together and there won't be different milestone. You have to work for it total milestone what are milestones just like we have arcade milestones similarly we have to complete some badges over there for that also i have already covered a detailed video if you want to see okay i will link all the videos do not worry about it so in the selection process you have to simply mail your details like your name mobile number email uh, email and you what you are doing uh, whether you are a student or not you have to mention all the details and with the co-facilitator co-facilitator can be anyone your brother sister mother father anyone your friends also okay who is at least 18 plus they will have to just fill the form which will be shared by you okay see in email in the shortlisting email you'll be getting one special form right you have to simply share that form to the co-facilitator means whom with you want to take part in the facilitator program and lead it okay so you have to share they will enter the details in the form okay attach all the thing it's simple just fill the form and fill the details and after that you have to reply to the mail with which you have received the shortlisted email means you have received a shortlisted email there you have to share your details and your co-facilitator just like this like you have to share a facilitator type at the top and just at the bottom hit enter and just type co-facilitator right co-facilitator you have to type and just enter all your details means whatever details you want to enter for your co-facilitator means the partner your partner details you have to mention and just reply to that no uh, shortlisted email after a week, you'll be getting a selection email and there will be odd modeling process. Uh, means you have to join the sessions and then you are a part of the facilitator program and you'll be in and you'll be just guiding your students. The referral form, how to fill the form, how to onboard students, all guidance will be provided over there. So this is a sample milestone example. So these many badges, trivia games, skill badges has to be done by the students. So you have to enroll at least 100 students. If you cannot enroll, just take part in the facilitator program as a student do not worry you'll be sharing our codes also you can join under them also so this is the main thing you'll be getting these cool swags if you still have any doubts do like the video and do hype the video too so like this you have to fill the form and simply submit it okay so i hope it clears most of your doubt if you still are having any doubt i'll link this playlist completely okay i'll link this playlist also if you want this video in hindi okay i'll link the hindi video guide also and just yesterday only, I think I posted a new video. You can just watch it too. 
okay you can see this video i have posted regarding the facilitator program in hindi also and one more video is in english also i'll share both the videos both are detailed which will help you to understand the program okay do check out the description and thank you guys have a great day ahead